So in order to be productive, we have to be held accountable for our productivity. And did you know command can be your productivity partner and your accountability partner? Well, it can. And I'm going to show you how to get that set up today. Let's go. I'm Bryn Brewer, your favorite tech trainer, and today we're going to go over activity tracking and how to set that up because we need to track our activities in order to show what activities are producing the most results. So if you haven't logged into command, I want you to go ahead and do so at agent.kw.com, agent.kw.com. Then you're going to click on your name in the top right corner, and then you're going to click on settings. Once you get here, you're going to click on command settings on the left hand side, and then you're going to click on reporting. Once you click on reporting, you'll then click on activity tracking. This is how you will enable activity tracking and reminders. So number one, this toggle button over here in the top right, you have to turn it on. Then you're going to send your daily reminder. So I'm going to send mine at 5 p.m. because if I send it in the morning, I haven't done my activities yet. And my activity should be submitted by, let's give myself an hour, and I'm going to send up to blank reminders after the due time. I'm going to send one reminder after the due date after the time. So I'm going to get one reminder at 5 p.m., another reminder after 6 p.m. And now if I scroll down, I can set which days I want to get this reminder. So I want to do every weekday. And then a little below that are the days off that you don't want to get reminders. So that would be your holidays, days you're going on vacation, things like that. You can show more and it'll show all your days. You can click on the edit days off and you can go find a day to add in here if you want to. So I know like that one I'm going to add because I believe we're off that day as well. So these would be your days off and click save changes when you're done. One thing to note with doing the activity tracking, this reminder email is going to go to the email that you have on file in your marketing profile. So make sure that you know which email you have on file in your marketing profile. Once you've set up your activity tracking reminders, you'll start getting an email daily. Now, if you want to go ahead and track your activity, you can do that from the home page and you can see I have a my activity widget on my home page and I can click on submit to submit my activity for the day. You can also do this from your email reminder that you get daily. So there's a button in there you can click as well, but this is essentially what it looks like. What is the day you want to submit the activity for today? would be the only day since I turned it on. I think it does let you go back a couple days, but be sure to stay on top of this. How was it? Did you have a good day? I'm going to say I had a good day. How much time did you spend finding new clients today? Zero. I haven't done anything today. It's early in the morning, so I'm just doing this for you guys. But eventually I'm going to put how many hours I spent finding new clients today. And what did I do to find those clients? Did I reach out to my sphere? Did I call? Did I do marketing? Did I do open house, networking, social media, text messages, circle prospecting, door knocking, farming? So we'll just click of these. Is everyone you spoke with captured in your database? Yes. If you're not doing that, you should be. Everyone you speak with should go into command. How many new appointments did you set today? I did none of these yet. Once you're done, you're going to click submit. That is how you submit your report for the day. Now you can also calculate your GCI based on your today's activities. And based on my today's activity, I will have zero in GCI. Basically I need to do better. Better is my activities. So let me go back to my dashboard and now you can see my activity is here and you can update it on your activity submission form. And if it looks off, you can update your averages. So you can also do this week over the same time and see your activity and you should start seeing results and be able to track which activities are producing you the most results. So you can focus on those. Now, instead of looking at your reports in this little widget, you can click on this reports icon on the left hand side and then click on activity and it's going to give you a report for your activity for the day, the week or the month. And you can see lead generation activities, how many you've been doing and that kind of thing. So this is one of my favorite features of command. It helps to hold me accountable to what I need to be doing to make more money, to get more leads, 
to do more transactions and sell more units. Let me know if you like this in the comments below and if you're using it, let me know how it's helped you.